All right, welcome back to Techno Babylon. In the last video, we did some investigation of the plants that Regis will have hidden a message in, in the junk DNA and such things. And I remember saying at the end of the last video that I was going to look through all the plants off camera. Well, I'm deciding to introduce the video here and then go and do it. Because I think we might need to do every single one of them and that's going to be incredibly boring to see on camera. But I'm going to keep recording purely in case something happens, then it can just easily cut back in rather than begin recording when it happens. When something happens rather than not recording. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to pause the video here and I'll be right and I'll be back when you've found something interesting. So be right back. All right, we're back with Techno Babylon. Now I've done all of these except this very last one here. Now I noticed at the bottom here it says eco hazard. I may be thinking it won't let me get it out because it's an eco hazard or something like that. So that's why I'm resuming here because this is the last one anyway, and none of them had anything in them. None of them. So this is the last one I've got to get. Extreme fire found on asteroids and comets. X, or X Tazardi grows dangerously quickly in our atmosphere. That could be something we maybe don't want to touch. Well, let's let, let's let me get it out. Let's see what's in it. Ah. Oh, error, unable to sample from seeds or growth major seeds. Please use up to active specimens for DNA sources. Huh. It won't let me take a sample from this one. I guess it needs to have grown a bit first. Ah. Wait, hang on, I've got to grow this thing? This, this thing that's an eco hazard I've got to grow? Okay, so how do I do this? Can I put it on the body? The growth matrix won't start in that. Hang on, have I seriously got to grow this thing that actively says is... that it actively says is an eco hazard? Are you serious? Eh, well, okay, I don't think anyone here is going to like that, but that's what the game wants me to do, that's what I'm going to do. But first of all, let's try testing these last two samples we've got here. There'll be nothing in any of them, I don't think. No, nothing in that. And in sample B, is there anything in sample B? There's nothing in sample B. Okay, so can we talk to her about this thing? Excuse me, Dr. Chigwa. Make it quick, I'm busy. Yeah, I'm busy as well, shut up. Yeah, nothing, nothing there. Now, I want to know how to fix Nista. I need to ask, how do I cure it? Well, because she really. said something. It's essentially, wet. this then produces. I can't wait to find a way to break. If we've got an emergency contamination, right, we that use stuff. isomerase. It's an enzyme. That so I've got to find that somewhere then, presumably. Then, if you'll excuse. Now, is there any soil somewhere? Can I maybe just plunk it down here? The growth matrix won't start in that. It won't start there? Where the hell will it start then? It's it's literally fertile ground. Um, can I put it in my wet way? No, it's not compatible because it's not an, an electronic thing. Okay, so it's got to be somewhere inside here then. Presumably. Um, I would put it in there, but that's going off somewhere and I don't want that to happen. Hang on! Can I maybe... Leave this place and go to Central to sell and get... The Isomeris or whatever it is thing that she... That I need to cure that guy's aphasia. I might be able to get some in the medical room place, maybe. Yeah, maybe? Or is this, is this going to take me directly outside? Yeah, nothing there. I'm going to go to Fulcrum Tower and see what's there, because that guy did say to come if we need help. And we do need help. Oh, this is a nice view. Well. Dr. Lau, so good to see you again, my dear. Yeah, I'm sorry you don't have an appointment, you better. Okay, so there's a painting. A classically sound painting, Pygmalion by Simon Denver. Should I know that? Or is that a made-up thing? I don't know. Okay, nothing I can really interact with, interact with here. 
Dr. Vargas's young assistant watches you keenly as though she thought you might break something if unsupervised. Yeah, she seems a bit... a bit of a... What's the term I'm looking for? I don't know. I'll tell you when I remember it. I never thought the controller of centralized government would look so... human. What, you thought he would be a robot? Dr. Vargas, I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. Certainly, my dear. Anything I can do to help. Holy crap, okay, um, yeah, what do you actually do? What would you describe your role here as, Dr. Vargas? This is publicly available information, Dr. Lau. Now, Galatea, it is a reasonable question. For the past 18 years, I've held the role of controller of centralized government. I ensure that Central, our city government, CI, is functioning within parameters. What would you say your political function within the city is? None at all. The elected council formulates city policy. It is merely Central's role to execute this and ensure the day-to-day -day well-being of the city. And it is Fa Dr. Vargas's role to maintain Central's operations. Surely you're already aware of this, Dr. Lau. Just wanted to get it from the source. Sometimes our desire to remain outside the political spectrum has led to rumors. We are not, however, the secret puppet masters behind the government of Mary. I shouldn't count you as my boss, then. Dr. Lau. <laughs> Heavens no, my dear. If anything, we are equals on an administrative footing. Central acts as director for both of our operations, though. Yeah, what a surprise. She's his daughter. That's a big surprise. Okay, so how long have you known Regis? How long have you known Dr. Regis? Since, uh, 2067. He joined a research project of mine. He was a good man then. Very principled. And now? I have no doubt goodness remains. Though since joining Cell, I feel that he expresses this solely through his work. Do you know about his garden? On Tier 42 of this building? Ah, yes. I've been there myself a couple of times. Though I hope we can keep that between us, Dr. Lau. What did you think of it? It is certainly an interesting way of coping with grief. Though that it has lasted so long is perhaps cause for concern. Okay, so what do you actually know about this whole incident that I might not know? Because surely you've got more information than me. What can you tell me about this incident? Currently not a great deal. Hence why you have been tasked with this investigation. Dr. Baxter has been found murdered in his workplace. And Dr. Regis was caught entering and leaving the facility by their security infrastructure. How about a background to the case? A history? Baxter has been responsible for the murder of Viksha Regis. Charles Regis's wife. He was caught and convicted, and until recently had been serving a sentence for the crime. I'm aware of this so far, yes. He had recently been paroled with the Vickerman Corporation as his sponsor. I can only imagine Regis's feelings on the matter. Violent, no doubt. But I knew Charlie Regis, and I know what kind of man he was. Justice is his motivator, but with his background, out in the hot zones. You worry that this might have been his idea of justice? Precisely. That, my dear, is why I need you to investigate this case before Central jumps to any conclusions to the matter. Yeah, so clearly he is, he clearly he's not in charge of Central. Very clearly so. So what about Viksha? You mentioned Regis's wife, Viksha. Ah, yes. Vicky. She was a student of mine in the 50s, in Buenos Aires. She spent several years working for the UN in hot zones around the world. When she had finished, she was the natural choice for the project I was just commencing. He never really spoke about her. They were very much in love. It pains me greatly to see a man so afflicted by a loss. She was a engineer as well? Yes and no. She specialized in organic computing, a field perhaps more closely aligned to your own. Yes, organic computing like Central, because Central's clearly a big organic computer. Could someone else have done this? I'm pretty sure it was a blackmailer, but I'm going to ask this anyway. Though Regis has an obvious motive, can you think of anyone else who might have a reason to do this? 
I shall be honest, Dr. Baxter was not an easy man to work with. There were many who disliked him in his time, though none I knew could call him his uh, enemy. Uh, so what was this project? Obviously, it, the project was central. But I'm gonna ask. You mentioned a project that Victor was recruited for. I'm afraid that's classified. Galatea, how can we help if we block every question? It was a project that utilized the expertise of both Viksha and Charles. Essentially, we were studying organic interfacing and large-scale computing. Large-scale, as in city coordination intelligences, like Central? On this matter, I can answer no further. I, 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 come on, it's pretty friggin' obvious that it's Central, I mean... Okay, so tell me about Baxter. What was your opinion of Dr. Baxter? As a scientist, 20 years ago, he was peerless in his field. But as a human being? He did not take refusal well. This apparently is what led to his breakdown. And the murder that followed that. Precisely. I have not spoken to him personally since the trial, however. I'm afraid I couldn't enlighten you about his recent state of mind. Alright, so what about his body? Because I've seen the body, and presuming maybe I wouldn't have this option if I didn't go look there before. I examined Dr. Baxter's body at the laboratory. What did you find? He's been decapitated. His head smashed in. My goodness! I've taken initial readings, but they're proving inconclusive. Even time of death. The lab's environment is throwing the chromatographs. Once he's been moved to cell for autopsy, we should get a clearer picture of what happened. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna ask this even though I think she's gonna try to block me like the kiss ass that she is. Um, why did you cut Central's feed? Dr. Vargas, I really need to ask. In my office, why did you cut Central's feed? That's classified, Dr. Lau. I'm afraid I cannot give you a complete answer on that subject. But a number of factors regarding yesterday's network attack have raised concerns. Not least the timing. It may be that Central's administration has been compromised. You believe it's linked to Baxter's murder? What makes you say that? You cut the camera when talking to me about it. You were concerned that whoever may have compromised Central would find out what we were discussing. Ha! <laughs> well, I have no fear of the quality of Cell's investigative staff now. I learned from the best. Yeah, see, I th so maybe Central has been compromised. And yes, this is a pretty friggin' nice office. It reminds me of the office of the last boss in Streets of Rage 2, actually. It kind of reminds me of that. Maybe you should let's play Streets of Rage. Not 3, because 3 does not count. It's a fantastic view from up here. Isn't it? That's why I choose to work from up here. The only part higher in Fulcrum Tower is Central's operating center. You could probably see all the way to Mombasa on a clear day. Mombasa, so where is Newton? I don't think we've ever got ever gotten an answer for that. And I don't know where Mombasa is. I'm gonna have to Google that. I could Google that right now. If I really, really wanted. Oh, I'm so tempted. I might do that at the end of the video. It's just curiosity. Uh, yeah, your assistant. I mean, your daughter. I'm certainly aware of your role in the city, Dr. Vargas. But who is your lovely assistant? <laughs> of course, you haven't been properly introduced. This is my daughter, Galatea. She fills the role of my administrative support. I'm being groomed for succession, apparently. Oh, don't put it like that. You make it sound so uh, dynastic. That certainly is not what we wish to represent. Well, what a surprise. At least they didn't try to hide it like I thought they might. So what, what was it like before Central? What was your field before going into politics? I was a computer scientist and a lecturer at Buenos Aires. In the 60s, the government of Newton was looking for research administrators. It eventually transpired that this role in itself was a kind of test. The city council was looking for suitable individuals to manage Newton's new CI. Central? Yes and no. It was what eventually became Central. Became Central? Yes, what about this mind jack? Do you know anything? Dr. Vargas, have you heard of mind jacking? Excuse me? I'm afraid I have not, Dr. Lau. What is it? It's the case Regis and I were working on lately. A number of individuals had their brains flash wiped by a destructive copying technique. That sounds most 
appalling, Dr. Lau. Does it pertain to this case? Not that I'm aware of, sir. It might give someone a reason to frame Regis, though. Especially if they thought that we were getting too close. So, perhaps Regis is a victim of attempted character assassination. To use Baxter as a means of doing so would be drastic. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so just tell me, why do you not think Regis did this? Very specifically. Why don't you believe that Dr. Regis is responsible for Baxter's death? I cannot say for certain that he is not, Dr. Lau. I simply hold on to the hope that he is not. Yeah, okay, oh, I can tell him. Should I tell him? Thank you, Dr. Vargas. You've been most helpful. Anything I can do to help. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Babylon 021, I'm gonna save here. Dr. Vargas? Sir! And then I'm going to tell him, just in case that does something that I don't want it to do. My investigation has brought up an interesting find. It appears that while he was at the lab, Regis took the time to alter some of the specimens there. Really? That is most peculiar. Even more so, he appears to have hidden a quaternary data string in the genomes of these subjects. What does the data contain? An audio-visual message, but it's still fragmented. I believe that Regis was trying to leave a message directed at myself, regarding what happened. This is a remarkable find, Dr. Lau. Please, continue your work. This may clear up what really happened in that laboratory. So you can't get me into the secure area? I really want to get into the secure area. I think I need to, in fact. While I was speaking to Dr. Chigwa, she told me about Central. Apparently both Charlie and Victor Regis were involved in its creation. Dr. Lau, that's classified. I believe we can trust her, Galatea. Indeed, I brought Viksha onto the project at its inception. She recommended Charlie. They were not married at this stage. This is unbelievable. He doesn't exactly have a high regard for Central. I suppose I can sympathize. It is an unhappy association for him. Yet he will not allow himself the glorious reputation and history he deserves as one of those who created Central, an AI like none before. Thank you, Dr. Vargas. You've been most helpful. Anything I can do to help. All right, now I'm going to talk to Galatea as well, just in case there's something relevant there. You should have made an appointment. Really? Because you seem so clearly horribly busy, both of you right here standing in the middle of the room, not even sitting down at your desk doing your work. Jeez. Oh, can I look out the window? Wow, what a view. You could probably see all the way to Mombasa on a clear day. Yes, I know. Can I jump out? I'm glad I had my fear of heights turned off. You had your fear of heights turned off? Okay, that's interesting. Wait, can I go some... Is there somewhere I can go to plant this? Like somewhere outside of the lab? It doesn't appear so. I can't get to the... I can't get to Regis's balcony anymore. I don't think. It might let me go there now. Now that I've been here. Yeah, Fulcrum Tower, Crime Scene, or Cell HQ. It's not going to let me. I'm going to go to Cell HQ and have a look around my office because my office seems to be the only place I can go. Which seems strange. She's expensive. I wonder if I can persuade Regis to let us keep her. Well, yeah, it's got Sheffy in it got to wait till the AI lab have had their turn analyzing her. Then she's all mine. Sounds like she quite likes her. <laughs> okay, so let's check out terminal here and see if there's anything. Hang on, so Galatea sent this attachment that hurt to me. Is she involved with this or something? The case files provided by Miss Vargas have already been downloaded to your secure traveler. Can I check my traveler? Okay, I can't call Regis. Well, I could, but he's not going to answer. News. Alright, we've looked at this before.
Yeah, we've looked at that before, so there's nothing new there. Nah, I've already got it set up just right. <laughs> Can I check his desk, maybe? Sorry, Regis. <gasps> oh! A physical photograph. The team. <gasps> February 2067. Okay, so there's Baxter who's been scratched out. There's Regis, there's Victor, there's that, um, whatever her name was. Who's Nina? Never heard her mentioned before. Regis is probably the only person I know who'd want his picture on paper. I guess defacing a digital one just isn't the same. Hey, there's Dr. Chigwa as well. What can I do with this then? A physical photograph. <sighs> Regis is pro Hey, there's Dr. Chigwa as well. Can I maybe show this photo to her? Yeah, that might be something I can do. Because I'm, I'm out of ideas for everything else right now, frankly. So I'm going to show her the photo. And hopefully get some... I honestly don't know. going to get something out of this. What do you think of this? Oh my. Is that... Goodness, it seems like such a long time ago. The project was just starting and we were all so buoyant, so keen. I've never seen Regis looking this happy before. He was a different man before he lost Vicky. He's always been a good one though. I still can't quite believe he'd have done this. And if you don't help me, Central's going to hunt him down. Please, Dr. Chigwa, I need to get into <gasps> yes. the growth lab as part of my investigation. Hmm. All right then. I don't know if you'll find anything significant in there. If it helps clear Charlie, though, there. I've added you to the access list. Yes, finally! Oh, finally, yes, I'm so glad we can get in there now. Okay, so, I'm gonna end- Oh, the growth lab, I can grow this in there. Maybe. Okay, so I'm gonna save here, I'm gonna end the video, and in the next one, Babylon 022, save and in the next one we'll go into the growth lab maybe plant this thing and maybe find something else in there so thank you for watching goodbye for now and i will see you in the next one bye for now